Hey guys, EBP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Ecovacs DBot N8 Pro Plus. Now a few months ago, we took a look at the DBot N8. This is the Pro Plus version. And I'm telling you, it's packed with improvements and the experience is absolutely fantastic for those of you who are looking for a robot that is gonna keep your home clean and do it in a way where it's worry free. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the features, we're gonna see how the robot operates, and we're also gonna look at the actual mobile app and how you can get the best out of this robot. So let's start with the specs. Now looking at the specs for the DBot N8 Pro Plus, a couple things to highlight. First of all, that this is a vacuum and mop combo. Uh, one of the things I really love about this robot is the fact that it has a self-emptying station that's gonna store, check this out, 30 days worth of debris. So you don't have to worry about empty it out. It's going to do its thing. It's going to come back and it will either auto empty or you can manually empty it. The other thing is that it has a lot of suction power. We're looking at 2,600 PAs of suction. Now, the cool thing also is that as it gets to certain areas, it will increase or decrease the suction as you're going to see in a couple seconds. Now, for me, one of the most important things about this experience is the LiDAR navigation. Now, this is not the type of robot that as it's cleaning your floor, it's going to bump into the walls and it's doing that bump and move, bump and move type of thing. This robot actually can see. And what I've noticed is that the actual LiDAR technology has greatly improved to the point where I don't see that bumping taking place. It actually glides right next to our walls without bumping into it. And not only that, um, unlike some of the other robots that I reviewed on the channel where I have to clean up before they do the cleaning, think about it, cleaning up before they do the cleaning, this robot is smart enough because of the LiDAR technology to see cables, right? And especially in a day like today where you're charging your phone or you may have some cables on the floor, you don't have to pick them up. You don't have to pick up your shoes. You don't have to worry about your pets. You don't have to worry about people. I've literally been working out on our floor as I'm doing my workout, either doing push-ups, doing sit-ups, doing weights, and the robot has been cleaning the floor and it doesn't touch my mat, it doesn't touch my, uh, let's say, the towel, it just works around me. And I'm like, oh my God, this is great. I don't have to pick up uh, before it does its thing. That's something that's uh, really amazing. And then also after two, I would say, readings, cleaning uh, the same area, it creates a very detailed map that is super clear of the entire area and it's gonna give you a, uh, kind of like the ability to prioritize where you wanna clean. It also has carpet detection so that if you do have a combination of hardwood floors, tile floors, and then carpet, as it raises itself onto the carpet area, you're gonna hear the actual suction increase to take care of that, to make sure that it's cleaning things. And I've noticed that as well as it goes on top of, let's say, my workout mat, that you can hear the actual uh, vacuum suck a little bit more. It has multi-floor mapping technology, so that means that if you're using a robot and you want to move it from floor to floor, it's going to be able to keep track of each one of the floors, and then you can actually set cleaning routines based on each one of the floors. Uh, it has personalized cleaning, so it doesn't have to go through the exact order that it chooses, but you can actually choose which room you'd like to be able to clean, and it labels them really nicely. It also has um, this three-layer filter system, so that you don't have to worry about as it's cleaning that the dust that it picks up is getting shot back in the air. 99% of that is being captured. And the other thing is depending on how large things are, and you can see in my floor map in a couple seconds, you'll be able to see that um, it covers my entire area and it will basically clean an area up to 110 minutes. Uh, that's how much battery this thing has. Um, it also will work with um, Alexa or with Google. So again, a lot of flexibility. So let's take a look at the app and also our cleaning experience. Now as you take a look at the app, what you'll notice is that it's the same app as the uh, previous DBot that we reviewed. And you'll see something here. Uh, first of all, you'll notice as I swipe over, this is the DBot N8 that we have. We actually unplugged it and that's why it's right now offline, but it's, um, it's actually in our home on the side. When we go over here, you'll notice that this is the brand new one. You'll notice that it's online, which means it's Wi-Fi connected, and that the battery is at 100%, and it's right now in the charging station. Um, it has an auto cleaning mode, which I can just push or schedule, or I can enter smart cleaning. I'm gonna go into the smart cleaning area so we can see what's here. So, so far, you know, it's basically identifying the last cleaning cycle, 624 feet, 76 minutes. And you'll notice that how clear the detailed map is of the entire area that it's clean. And it's labeled things for me. And I have choices where I could either do auto, which is gonna take care of everything that's going on, or I could actually go into area. And then when I do an area, you know, uh, here I have the specific areas. I could do custom which means I can actually tap and configure my own um, cleaning preferences, right? So I can actually uh, determine what I want to be able to do. 
Uh, you also then have cleaning sequence, right? Where the cleaning sequence is gonna bring up the map, and then I can choose what I wanna clean in what specific order, which also helps. Especially if you're using a specific area and you want it to start on the further end of your home, like I can have it go all the way up to F where I'm not at, and A is where my TV is, and it will work in that area as I'm doing my workout. And hopefully by the time it's done with these other areas, it will, um, I'll be out of that area, right? So you can go ahead and do something like that. Now, in addition to that, you do have your multi-map plans, right? So you can create another map if you'd like to um, and establish that. And I'll go ahead and get out of that. Uh, and that's for the multiple levels. And then what you also then have is the ability to send it back into the charging station. Now, in addition to that, you do have some cleaning preferences that you can choose here. So you can say how many times you want it to go over the area. You can also then choose what is the vacuum power and also the water flow level because it does have a built-in tank that's going to clean uh, your area. So, and by the way, we have a mix of tile and hardwood floors and we don't really get spots from this. So as long as you keep the microfiber tile clean and you clean it after every usage, you really don't get spotting on the floor, which is important for us as, as we look at our hardwood floors. Now, as we go to the top of this menu here, and let's go ahead and go up there, one of the things that we'll highlight is, you know, you do have some preferences uh, that you can work with. Uh, first of all, you have advanced mode, which I've turned on, right? And that is going to be uh, looking at the multi-floor map because I want that. Uh, you also then have auto boost suction on. I turned that on. The auto empty, I turned it off because our dogs go crazy when they hear the vacuum. Scheduling that you can set up, right? So you can set it when you want to have your auto cleaning. So every morning this can kick off or you can connect this to your Amazon or Google. Uh, you do also have true detection 3D. And this is the coolest thing. Literally, I am working out and this thing doesn't bump into me. It sees the cables. We have, uh, we have electric chairs that, um, or sofas that actually recline back and I have a cord that I put out. It doesn't get caught on them, it avoids it, it sees it, it doesn't even bump into it, and it just pulls back and it goes around it. That is significant for me. Uh, we also have continuous cleaning, do not disturb, cleaning cloth reminder if you'd want, and you could also reset the map. In additional settings, you can see your cleaning log, your accessories usage, which is going to talk about your wear of all your components, filter and everything else that's, uh, that's there. And then what you could do is uh, you can rename your robot as well as um, look at, get a voice report. Uh, this is also where you would uh, update your firmware. So very, very robust app. Let's see how it cleans. Now the very first thing we're gonna take a look at is the actual docking station for the uh, D-Bot. Now, the neat thing about this is that this robot does has a self-emptying station like we described. It's gonna give you about 30 days worth of self-service cleaning. So the robot will come into the docking station here and then basically uh, load all the dirt or debris into this container. And as we open this up, you'll notice that the container um, has a little bag that you can easily remove um, with really not having to touch anything or get anything uh, dirty. And in my experience, removing this is pretty much a dust-free experience. You don't have debris or anything flying around. Now you also find an on-off switch, and this is gonna have to turn it on the very first time once you connect it before charging. Now the vacuum also has a filtration system. You can see right here, so as it's picking up debris, you don't have to worry about any dust um, being released to your home. Now on the bottom of the robot, you're gonna find rubberized wheels that are gonna make sure that it has great grip and traction, and you also have two whisker brooms that are going to whisk any debris into this area that gets sucked up. And you do have a water reservoir where you would connect your actual mop. Now you do have a very generous reservoir tank for water. Um, very simple to remove, and all you have to do is fill this guy up here with water. Uh, attach the actual microfiber towel, and you're set to go. Now the mopping plate that is included comes with an actual microfiber towel connected to it, but then the cool thing is that you do get and more, right? So you have some extra ones right here. Now, attaching it is pretty simple, and as soon as you attach it to the bottom, right, as soon as you put it in, you're gonna hear an audible command letting you know that something's been attached. Check this out. Mopping plate has been installed. That's it. Now, one of the things I highlighted about uh, the robot is the fact that you don't have to clean up before you actually use the robot. So, this is what my house is like. Uh, have my workout mat, which yes, the dogs have chewed up somewhat. I have my workout dumbbells. I have some shoes on the floor. And then if we pan over here, you're gonna notice all the way up here on the top, you're gonna to see some cables. Yeah, lots of cables. And here comes our other dog. So we're gonna put it through the test and see how well it performs with all this mess as it's cleaning the floor. Now the first thing I wanna highlight as you start cleaning or seeing it work is that it's not bumping into the walls. It's not doing that bump back and forth. It's actually, it can see with the LiDAR technology, it's actually monitoring where it's at 
and you'll never see it bumping into things, which is something that I really, really like about this robot. You can see the LiDAR flashing as it's kind of like checking its surroundings. Uh, once it goes next to the fireplace, you'll notice how it's just going to get really close to it, but it's not going to bump against it, which is something that I think is uh, fantastic and, and pretty cool. Notice how it found the gym shoe. Oh, it bumped the gym shoe. Let's see. There it goes. It went around it. And it'll continue to navigate right around. Isn't that cool? Now notice how it's navigating the cords. It's avoiding them. And you can see even the little LiDAR beam coming out and how far it's actually, it sees. And you notice it's not bumping into the wall. It's actually just doing its thing cleaning this area and then just avoiding bumping it and you'll notice that I have a workout mat there with our dog there the robot is just making its way so here we have our obstacle course of dogs and workout mat and you can see you know robot is not bothering our dogs but just working around them as they're uh, with me on the mat all right guys, so here's our next test. Um, I'm here on our workout mat, and we're gonna see if the robot will leave me be or will it uh, bother me during my workout. You can see that it's avoiding this area, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into a plank position just to illustrate kind of my day, and we'll see if the robot continues to ignore me. And it looks like it is, as it should. Now the other cool thing about uh, the robot is the actual app. So the app is actually tracking exactly where it is inside the house and you can see right here this is the charging station and where it is in relation to the charging station. So um, and as I mentioned as we were looking at the app itself you do have all these zones that you can prioritize. Now the other thing that we'll highlight is that when it is mopping one of the things that I noticed in, and it's important to me and I'm sure it's going to be important to you is that the floor dries streak free. So you'll notice that there is already some some moisture being left behind. It's not gonna drop a significant amount of water on your floor. And then as the microfiber towel goes over it, it would be no different than you using one of those uh, manual mops that may be made out of microfiber to actually moisten the floor and then clean it off. But what I like is that there's no smudges left behind. You see how streak-free that is? That's what I look for when it comes to getting my floor mopped. Plus, the fact that I have cables there, and it avoids it. Now, one other cool feature with the D-Bot is that it will automatically go back to the charging station and cleaning station simply by either finishing the routine or as it's running low on power. One thing I will highlight, though, is if you have pets, the actual vacuum is pretty loud. So you're going to get dogs barking and once it goes there. You can see that our dog is already waiting for the vacuum sound and is already barking. It hasn't started yet, so... I'll show you what it sounds like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and manually kick this off. This actually happens automatically, but I have it manual because I don't want the dogs barking all the time. It's relatively loud and yes, if you do have dogs, your dog is going to bark just like mine. But what I found is that it's no louder than any other uh, self-emptying vac that I've worked with. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.